Yeah. You've been in shambles recently, man. Shambles. Let me see what's going on with myself. I don't even know. Okay, everybody should be online. No, I gotta do with this to get everybody online. All right, they're doing all they're doing a lot now. My bad, man. You gotta like confirm every single outlet. All right, we're good. All right, chat. I'm back here. Apologies. I felt like I streamed and went through another two days and didn't stream. I'm trying to like I ain't gonna lie to you. Last night I was about to stream, and no bullshit. Like for whatever reason, I I was like looking at topics and what we had to talk about because on Sundays I don't like to stream and compete with the um because I know y'all like watching football so the one o'clock and the four o'clock games, but I I'll take on the eight o'clock game, uh so I was gonna stream around then and I ain't gonna lie I couldn't find too much topics last night I was like what the hell there's not much to talk about in hip hop kinda right unless we're gonna keep talking about some of the same um antiquated topics by the way how do I sound how do I sound how do I sound I sound good. Let me load up all the chats. Salute to everybody in here from Rumble. Salute to everybody in here. I can't speak. From Twitch. And, of course, if you're tuning in from the Academy page or the King Academics page, I respect you as well. And, of course, our two meta pages, King Academics and Academics TV. Let me load up um, the chats so I can see what y'all boys are saying. I was going to get on slightly earlier today, but I, I salute to all y'all who tuned into the premiere of the Quando Rondo conversation. Um, you know, you know, salute to Quando Rondo. Uh, number one, he's preparing to go through sentencing, which he don't know how long they're going to have him sit down for or how he's going to go. But, you know, I hope you guys understand the interview in that context. He wasn't going to go on the interview and say, fuck all these niggas. I'm ready to go to war. Also, there's a lot of life changes that's happened with him. And um, I think all that was kind of apparent in his demeanor, in conversation and everything else. What am I hearing right now? Okay. Am I good? Should be good. All right. Thank you for the gift of sub, by the way. Appreciate you. All right. Uh, a couple other things that, um, let me see what else is going going on. Uh, we got Lil Zay Osama who got, actually, I do got a slight list around here. Lil Zay Osama got sentenced to a year. Give me one second. I'm just pulling up my list of what we about to be talking about for the night. Is this it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Couple more things about Gun and Thug. Yeah, we still got that going on. Um, Waka Flock and a few other people are getting their events canceled because they supported Trump. That's kind of interesting. Um, Young Thug. Well, I guess we're just talking about Gun and Thug, but now we're talking about Thug. Young Thug father is actually going off on, on on the celebrities that have now come to champion Thug since he's gotten out. He's calling it fake love, which is kind of a little bit interesting because Thug is with these guys. So we'll kind of get into that as well. And what else? I feel like I feel like there's a bunch of other topics. We'll just kind of like we'll, we'll just be jacking for topics here. I see my boy in the mirror. Salute to my boy in the mirror. Um, he's expecting a child, um, him and Selena Powell, good for them. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit, too. Uh, what else? Whoa, Vicky. Okay, why am I talking about Whoa, Vicky? Oh, I definitely want to talk about this. Uh, Trick Daddy. He says he don't like to be uh, identif uh, identified as an African-American because he ain't never been to Africa, and he ain't never been Africa, uh, Afro or Africa, and he not from Africa, Okay. So we will get to that as well. Um, OT7 Kwani and Boston Richie, they going back and forth. Don't know what's going on there, but, you know, I kind of know what's going on. We'll get into that. Uh, I, I was the first to bring to you guys that, yes, prosecutors are citing Dirk's lyrics in these new charges. However, it doesn't mean that Dirk is being charged for lyrics. OK, so um, there's lyrics that's actually in this new indictment for him but doesn't mean he's being necessarily charged with the lyrics per se. They're just saying it as to the context of their theory, which is that he put money on uh, what's the name head. DJ Bands, who's Lil Durk's DJ, has actually responded to that by saying it's all cap. We will get into that too. Okay, sorry, we see that, we see that. Let me see what else. All right, all right, all right. Um, what else? What else? Chat, they shooting up the planes in Haiti, chat. Not going to lie to you, man. First of all, 
Spirit already got a hard enough time keeping in the air, taking off. And trust me, if you sit in the economy middle um, middle seat, it's like it's like being an adventure of itself. But now they got hoodlums in Haiti shooting at the plane, and this is getting out of hand. Apparently, a plane that was trying to land in Haiti uh, from Florida was actually diverted to Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic because. A couple of hoodlums in Haiti. They're having a lot of civil unrest there. They actually just went through like some type of election, some political stuff. And um, they're now shooting at the planes. Okay. So they're shooting at the planes, supposedly. Hold on. Why am I hearing like some static? Yeah, I don't hear that, right? Okay. All right. So it's not. All right. Bet. So, yeah, they're shooting up the planes. I'll show you a little bit more. Actually, we could probably even start with that, man. Let's just kind of start a little bit light. We'll get into everything. So, first things first, this is, um, you know, I ain't going to lie to you. Hold on. Where, where we at with it? No, it's not keep six solid. I think we got on six buzz, not six nine, six buzz. Shout out to six buzz TV. Is it up here? Is it up here? I just seen it up here. Wait, where the fuck? I just seen it up here. Probably just gotta go to Twitter or something like that. Oh, they have, they have another page for news. Six Bus Media, I think. Okay. Here we go. So Spirit Airlines flight struck by a gunfire during a landing in, in Haiti. Like, first of all, man. Spirit Airlines is like a minibus already. Horrible airlines. I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't put myself on there. But trust me, I've flown out a few things, and I definitely throw them on Spirit. Like, come on. You know what I mean? Like, yo, you can't beat $150, you know what I mean, for a flight. Come on. You can't beat it, okay? And you you book last minute. It's all good. Um, however, you know, people always talk about a customer service, the lack of um, either equipment or training or just even – Whatever they got going on with Spirit. But now they're shooting at the goddamn plane. And check this out, chat. Is there audio? I don't think there's audio. No audio? It goes from here. 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 goes from here. Here. Okay. And then there's some other um, bullet holes that apparently the, the plane was shot with. Now, it obviously doesn't help that the plane is usually wrapped in this, like, bright yellow spirit, like, you know, wrap that they do with all their planes. So it's easily identified in the air. But clearly must have been close to, like, you know, landing because if it's if it's like 20,000 feet up in the air or like 30,000, like a bullet ain't catching it. You get what I'm saying? But. Obviously, if it's a little bit lower, maybe like, I don't know, around like 5,000, 6,000 feet, which would mean that they were about to land. I could imagine then they could be shot at, which, again, I got to figure out what's going on in Haiti, man. Yo, old, old, Sock Passe told my Haitians, I love y'all. You know what I mean? Like, listen, you already got you already got big Trump thinking y'all eating dogs and cats. We can't have have them thinking y'all shooting at planes, too. Come on now. Let's relax out here. Okay? I love all my Haitians. And by the way, anything they say bad about Haitians, I completely disavow. Because um, we call Haitians the, the stepbrothers of Jamaicans, all right? Uh, let, me, let me look at what the hell's going on in Haiti right now. Haiti unrest. They got some shit going on down there. Let me see. Haiti. Oh, okay. Another day of fighting between Haitian gangs and police on the streets of Port-au-Prince. The gangs of... This is another thing that I always be saying to people who be like, yo, I, I love how pussy Americans are. And I say that include myself. But like everybody like, yo, we can't put Trump back in. Yo, what about January 6th? I'm like, nigga, I come from a country, nigga, they damn well, they had a three-day war <laughs> with the government. They don't give a fuck about no government. So January 6th was like, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's when people are like so privileged. Oh my God, January 6th, they almost took over the government. Come on, bro. This is what it looks like when niggas is trying to take over some shit. Okay? Already control 80% of the this capital. is how it looks. Now they're moving into areas like Solino, a community this that how remained it looks. relatively safe. Is that a girl? Made relatively. I gotta say, pause before I say nothing. 
remained relatively safe until now. The goal Come of the on, battle man. is us. The gang is part of a coalition of rival gangs known as Vivan Sam, which means... That's how they giving it up out there. You feel what I'm saying? Salute to my fight. Haitians. You know, uh, obviously a, a country plagued by a lot of, you know, um, very unfortunate circumstances, but also um, some unrest. And also, you know, they, they're looked at a lot of times in the eyes of the outside world um, with a negative perception, which, you know, obviously I definitely don't co-sign because I love my Haitians. Okay. But... Yeah, they're shooting at the planes out there, bro. They're shooting at the planes. And um, i seen some people, which I try to check them. They were like, yo, who the hell is going to Haiti? And I'm like, Haitians? What the fuck? Like, you know, it's not the biggest tourist location. So I would imagine that people who are Haitian-Americans, um, um, Haiti-born or have Haiti uh, um, family that come from Haiti, but you may live in other countries, you're probably definitely going back to your country. So, you know, uh, hopefully I hope they, they figure that out because when they start shooting at the planes, come on, cut it out. Cut it out, okay? Anyway. All right, what else is going on? We're just going to kind of be, like, jumping around here. Actually, I might, I, I like this topic right here. I might, I might do 